Hello and welcome to our next video series. Uh, in this one, uh, I'm going to be upgrading ED, my home server. So uh, for those of you that have watched some of my older work, uh, what we did last winter is I built a home server on a budget using really old hardware. It has a motherboard from, I think, 2009 and a CPU from 2011. Um, it's got a DDR3 and it's got a bunch of hard drives that I assembled from both uh, brand new a couple of brand new hard drives and then a few that were donated to me by some of my coworkers. Um, so uh, over the past five months, I've gotten a lot of use out of the server and I like it a lot, but um, it is definitely underpowered and there are certain things such as Plex transcoding that aren't an option for me right now. So um, I've been meaning to upgrade this and with the Roach rebuild, all of a sudden we have all of my old hardware to deal with. Uh, so the, the plan here will be to take the motherboard and the CPU from Roach 2 and put it into what will become new ED. So um, basically what we've got here is we've got Phil's old Fantex case that he generously gave to me uh, as a thank you for doing the Apache build uh, with him. And this is going to be our new server chassis. Now this is a little bit more of a modern case. Uh, it's from 2000, uh, I want to say 16 or 17 is when Phil originally bought it. So it's a lot, a lot newer than the other case has a lot more storage ability um, and so that's going to be the focus is adding more hard drives right now ed has seven hard drives and three ssds we're going to be adding two more uh, and so uh, if we look here <clears throat> this is a fantex uh enthu pro mtg so it's got a tempered glass side panel that i obviously don't have attached right now but it's still in very good shape uh it has two hard drives in a cage down here and then it has these add-on brackets that I've already purchased and you can hang them in these hook areas here so you can put five drives like this there are two in the cage below so there's two another five makes seven we're gonna put another one up here for eight so that's eight drives and we just need to find a spot for one more right now my leading theory is to use these 3d printed brackets that um, if you remember my buddy Matt from the previous video, he's got a 3D printer in his apartment. He likes to 3D print stuff, and he made these for me back when I was doing the original home server project. I didn't end up needing them then, but I might actually have a use for them now. So <clears throat> that's going to probably go right here, and that'll house our last hard drive. The three SSDs, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. Fantex gives you these mounting points here, and two more on the back. but I don't have the cages to put the drives in. So without that, I don't know. Um, since SSDs don't have any moving parts, you can kind of just stash them wherever. I mean, I th I'm thinking I'm going to put them up in the radiator bracket, to be honest, uh, if I can make the cords work. So I'm, I'm not married to that idea. Uh, I'm just going to build it, and we'll see how it fits, because with this many drives in one build, I'm going to be severely limited on uh, SATA power cables. So we'll kind of let the SATA power cable situation dictate where we put the rest of the SSDs. Um, other than that, nice power supply basement. So the 850-watt G2 that used to be in Roach, that's going to be the new power supply for the server. It's a very, very reliable power supply. It's old, but I trust it, so I'm happy using that uh, for the power supply. Um, as you can see, this case has some more modern cable management, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what else? Okay, the RAID card. So... Um, last winter when I went to go build the server, my department head at work, Nathan, graciously gave me some hard drives and a RAID card. I was able to use the drives, but the RAID card wasn't compatible with the hardware I was using at the time. Now it will be, at least I'm pretty sure it will be. So, uh, I won't need a GPU anymore. So my plan is to have the RAID card here and it's got eight, eight, uh, cables on that. So those will go to the first eight hard drives and then we can reserve the SATA ports on the motherboard for the SSDs and the... Uh, last remaining hard drive so that will definitely complicate the cable management situation but i'm confident i can work through that so um what have i done so far well b before i started the video i already went through uh last night i stripped down this whole case deep cleaned it top to bottom so it's in really good shape now it was very dirty it was very filthy but uh, I got that all cleaned up. The side panel had a bunch of stickers on it. I got the stickers off, cleaned off all the residue. It looks great now. Same thing with the front panel. The front panel had a bunch of stickers. As you can see, I got those all cleaned off. There was an optical drive here, but that's okay uh, because the um, hard drive mount that adapts to the 5.25 inch bay 
will st protrude a little bit if you remember from some of my videos where I was messing around with those for the, like, the emulator build. So not having that panel is not a deal breaker because there will be a hard drive sticking out of that. Also, the aesthetic, I don't care so much. This is my home server. It's going to be sitting in my basement. What I do care about, however, is the airflow. And that's going to be a big upgrade over the last case. As you can see, I've already got two 140 mil fans. They were up top in the original case configuration. I've already moved them down to the front. So they'll be blowing air right on the hard drives. So all of my hard drives are going to have excellent cooling this time around. Um, we're going to move the... Uh, existing heat sink and cooler for uh, for ED onto this one, so that'll be already coming over. Um, all I got to do still is add a 140 mil to the back for exhaust. I'm not worried so much about top or bottom cooling. I think just one straight airflow pattern from the front to the back will be more than enough for this. So, um, yeah, I guess that's all. I, I guess that's all I really needed for the introduction. Um, I'm going to be doing this in phases. So I'm not going to be doing it all tonight, but I think tonight what I'd like to do is drop the motherboard in maybe put the power supply in depending on how, much, how tired I get and uh, we'll start uh, start doing some some cables not all of them but some and then we'll once the pot once the monitors or sorry once the motherboard is in then I can put the rear exhaust fan in so then I can complete the fans at least um, the way this is going to work is because my server is up right now I want to have it down for the smallest amount of time so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this as far as I can without the drives and then when the time comes for me to take the server down, I'll do that on like a, a day off or a weekend so that I have, you know, a couple hours unobstructed where I can shut the server off, take all the drives out, plug all the drives in. And um, maybe I, may, I might want to try and set that up ahead of time so that I can, you know, plan out the power cords and the SATA cords before I do that. Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll run like the, the RAID card, the SATA cables the power cables, maybe I'll run all of that first, then I'll take the server down, undo the hard drives, and just drop them in so that the server will be as, go have through as little downtime as possible, we'll say. All right, that sounds like a good plan. Um, so like I said, we're going to start with the motherboard, we're going to start with the power supply, we'll see where that takes us. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs>
So that went uh, actually better than I hoped. Um, I got a bunch of the cables run, the motherboard's in. Um, since the cooler is already in ED right now, I'm going to wait until the actual swap to do that part. But luckily we have good access to the back plate, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, <clears throat> CPU power cables, I need to figure out how to tie those off, but that's fine. I can do that once everything else is managed. I've got a total of three SATA power cables. And while it looks like I only have, you know, a, a four and two threes, I actually have extensions. I have three, I have three adapters that add another four. So should have more than enough power cables. It's just a question of figuring out the most efficient order. You know, do you do you put this one up to the top? Do you put one in the middle? Do you put one in the bottom? Whatever way to reach all the drives. These red um, RAID card cables quite the tangle, um, but I got them through. So now it's just a question of getting them all <clears throat> um, all uh, assigned. Um, since this whole rack is going to be straight vertical, I feel like for cable management purposes, I should just use the RAID card cables for these. Um, let's see, two, seven, eight. Yeah, there's going to be eight drives in a stack here. So I think the best course of action would be to use the RAID card for all the mechanicals because these are plenty long, so we'll have no, no issues getting to them. And then we'll use SATA cables for the rest of the devices. That's how I think I want to attack it. Also, um, I'll just come, I'll come around. I'm sick of moving this case. I think I figured out what I want to do with this hard drive. So like I said earlier, I have nine hard drives and I have eight slots, so I need to figure out another slot. So what I ended up doing was I was able to screw this to the bottom of this plate and I measured with one of these. You saw me on the time lapse uh, kind of measuring it and I can clear it. So I think I can put it right here. I just got to make sure I use a flat, I got to use a flat um, SATA cable to get there. I'm not going to be able to fit a 90 in there. But that way I don't have to mess around with these, these 3D printed brackets that I just don't think are strong enough to fit here. So, and then they do get in the way with the SATA cables, or sorry, the RAID card cables. So yeah, I think this route is better. So then we'll have two, three, eight, nine. All the hard drives will be in this row, plus the added benefit of the hard, all, all nine hard drives will get the, the air blowing on them. So that's kind of cool too. So yeah, I, uh, I didn't have to take off this rubber grommet, but I don't care about that. Nobody, nobody's going to be looking at this. This is my server. It's buried in my furnace room. So performance is far more of a priority but okay good really good first night working on the server um, we're gonna end it there uh, we'll catch you later with episode two uh, where we'll actually start moving stuff over